Diana Pedillo and welcome to my blog. Hi! Good day everyone! Welcome to Learn with Yara! Today's blog, we will talk about solid materials that can be found in our environment and the changes they undergo when they are bent, pressed, hammered, or cut. As we have known, solid materials can undergo changes with their characteristics or properties. The characteristics of solids are solid have a definite shape and volume, shape can be held, solid have different characteristics or properties such as size, shape, color, texture, and weight. But in today's episode, we will first observe different solid materials when they are pressed and cut and describe the changes happens in the object. Are you ready? Let's do it! Here are the examples of tools that we can use to cut an object. Knives, metal cutters, and others. What does it mean when we say cut? Cut could mean to divide a thing or remove something from a solid material with a use of a sharp tool. For this activity, we are going to use a pair of scissors! I will cut each of the given materials. We all observe together what happens to each of the materials. Let's prepare the materials. Our materials are a pair of scissors, a piece of paper, piece of cardboard, and leaves. Let's start! Our first material is a piece of paper. Observe what will happen to the piece of paper when it is cut. It changes in size and shape. Our second material is a piece of cardboard. Observe what will happen to a piece of cardboard when it is cut. It changes in size and shape. And our third material are leaves. Observe what will happen to the leaves when they are cut. It changes in size and shape. After the activities that we did, we observed that there were no material was formed when they were cut. Only the appearance of the materials has changed. Remember, not all solid materials can be cut using simple scissors. Some solid materials like iron or steel can be cut using metal cutters or machine cutters. Let's do our second activity. In our second activity, we observe the changes in solid materials when they are pressed. What does it mean when we say press? Press is to act upon with steadily applied weight or force. Our materials in our second activity are a piece of banana, a piece of cupcake, and a paper cup. Let's begin! What happened to a piece of banana when it is pressed? It changes in size and shape. What happened to a piece of cupcake when it is pressed? It changes in size and shape. What happened to a paper cup when it is pressed? It changes in size and shape. Important reminder, let's be cautious when dealing with other objects that need not to be pressed since they cause us harm. What happened to a piece of banana, piece of cupcake, and a paper cup when they are pressed? They change in size and shape but there is no new material formed. Remember, after pressing, some solid materials return to their original shape and size while others do not. Some solid materials can be pressed depending on the property of the material. 
When pressed, these materials may change their size and shape. Other solid materials may also change their texture when pressed. However, no new material is formed because only the physical appearance of the material is changed. Have you learned something new from our topic? That's all for today guys and see you again for the next episode as we explore the world of science. I'm Yara Janelle Liximpiro Bidilio from Great for Marta. Bye!